Hi everyone, uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's uh, January 1st and um, we're talking to you from the boat in Philadelphia at mm -hmm. Penn's Landing. Um, yeah, and awesome fireworks last night, right? Yeah. We saw double. One was clear as day and the other one was all foggy. Yeah, big fog rolled in. You couldn't even see 30 feet in front of you, but they still did the fireworks. So basically it was glowing skies and yeah. it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So what we're going to talk about here is the budget and what we um, uh, thought it was going to be and what it actually was. And since Ed's the financial advisor, he will be doing most of the talking. Um, I'll okay. just take pictures. Yeah, she'll do the color commentary. <laughs> uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is our big trip of the, of the season. We went to Key West and came back. And uh, I'll put up a little slide showing our expenses there. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the numbers. Now, our biggest expense, of course, was fuel. That um, far exceeded everything else that we had. We spent $12,386 on diesel fuel for the trip. Uh, now, that's over 32, about 3,000 miles on the trip itself, so. Um, and the fuel is uh, more expensive than it was last year. Right. Yeah, 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 you're right. It, uh, the last year, we were probably averaging around 250, 260 60, a gallon. Yeah, yeah. I think about the, this, this year we probably were closer to $3. Three, 325. Yeah, it depends where we were. So the fuel was more expensive this year and we used a lot more of it because last year we came back from Florida. This time we went from here all the way down to Key West mm -hmm. and back again. Mm -hmm. We also spent about 140 on oil. And uh, that's just because they're... Detroit Diesels. Detroit Diesels. <laughs> they like to eat oil. Uh, slip fees, $5,842. Uh, we stayed at a lot of slips. Yeah, we kind of saved a little bit. We can kind of count it as saving mm -hmm. because we anchored out a couple times. So yeah, I think yeah. that's a win. Yeah, I, mean, I think we anchored out maybe six, eight times. So that saved us a little bit of money. Repairs, That's uh, that was kind of sad. <laughs> you know? we, we spent $5,525 in repairs. Uh, 2,000 of that was that dumb towing mistake that I made, and um, otherwise it would have been about 3,500. Then we, we, of course, we had the cutlass uh, bearing that we had to replace, mm -hmm. and then hitting bottom uh, in Little River uh, Inlet, where we had to have the shaft. Uh, good times, <laughs> yeah. good times. This also includes the divers that we had to pay, uh, and also I have on here. I kind of kept it out separate. It's I prop. Like those divers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was worth the 5500 to get the divers for her, right? Uh, I also have on here $950 for prop and shaft repair. I kind of kept that separate only because I didn't really spend that yet. I had a spare prop and a spare shaft on yeah. board. So we're, that's just something we're going to do over the winter. But, I, you know, really it took place last year, so right. I'm kind of including it in last year's budget. We also spent $450 on tips. That's just tips for dock hands. That's not, you know, servers or Uber drivers or anything like that. In fact, none of these numbers include any of those things. Um, it, there's no restaurants, there's no bars, you know, because we know we would do that anyway. If we weren't on this trip and we were home, we still have to eat, we're still gonna go out and party, we're still gonna have fun. So I'm the only putting, um, including things in this uh, list that are um, unique to the fact that we took this trip. In other words, just boating expenses. Yeah, dock hands and divers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the total came to $25,293. That's what the trip cost us in total, leaving uh, here 3,000 miles back and everything else. Okay, now the next slide I'm going to show you guys, this has to do with our expenses not including the trip. Now, I separated this out because not everyone who owns a boat like this is going to go on a 3,000 mile adventure. Sometimes you're just going to go local or you're going to hit the Chesapeake, you're going to hang around the Delaware or wherever you're from. And so this expenses without the trip is really the cost of ownership in general. And uh, fuel outside of the trip we spent another $1,361 on fuel. That's for a couple of trips we did down to uh, the Baltimore, Baltimore, Chesapeake Bay area. Uh, we had, uh, you know, I changed the oil in the beginning of the season, new filters, new raycores. We, we did all the work ourselves. Mm -hmm. It cost about $180. Slip rentals for the year here uh, where we're at in Philly was $7,900. Now, we're not here all year, but I pay for them all year because we want them reserved for us. Uh, we did some improvements on the boat. Uh, not a lot. We, uh, we got a new uh, VHS radio. Um, 
for the fly bridge. We did buy another uh, inflatable tender and a battery and a motor for that. So altogether, we spent about twelve hundred and eighty-five on what I would call improvements, things that weren't repairs, but things that you know we added to the boat. Actual general repairs outside of the trip was two thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars, and that's almost all for having our davit fixed. Now, when we bought the boat, the davit wasn't good. It, we noticed it leaking oil right away. Mm -hmm. uh, it worked. Uh, however, through the course of the year, it stopped working. You know, uh, and it, so right before we left. <laughs> yeah, right. That's why we have the two tenders. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right before we left, we realized it wasn't just leaking oil; it was done working. Mm -hmm. And our, we have that 13-foot uh, Boston Whaler up there with the 40-horsepower Yamaha on it, and it's not coming down without a davit. So um, we knew it would take a while to get the davit fixed. In fact, we were going to try and do it on the trip, but we couldn't coordinate it with anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we decided to do is go out and buy a, a, a cheap inflatable uh, dinghy, which we got West from Marine. West Marine <laughs> sold us their floor model for 400 bucks. You know, yeah. we we're like, couldn't beat that. $800 originally. I think we got 50% off. Yeah. I was just, I asked, I was just looking for like 10%. So yeah, when he but, said 50, I was like, mm -hmm. good. And Ed's like, we're taking it now. <laughs> yeah, so we just took it right off the floor. Yeah. I ended up buying a, uh, that, um, a motor, uh, which I have over there. On the, floor, I think. the electric motor, yeah, it, which is uh, turned out to be pretty. Yeah, pretty yeah you know, surprisingly work, work, work okay. Fine. Uh, can, no, can, no, I forget how to say their name now. But anyway, yeah. there's a video. I think it's on our YouTube or not our Patreon channel where we did an unboxing. Oh of that. yeah. Um, but anyway, we got the little motor and a little uh, battery, and uh, that did that did us fine for the trip. You know, I mean, it would be nice to have the 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 whaler out. We're definitely going to have it out when we go to the Bahamas next year, but. It worked fine. Anyway, I, That's dig yeah, I digress. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, repairs, you know, the Davit um, was most of it. There's a couple other little things I had to buy. Some, you know, I don't know, things to fix the heads, you know, stators, little things like that. But other than that, it wasn't really much. Yeah. Now, I have on here maintenance amateurization. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. When we had repairs done on the trip in Florida, uh, since the boat was out of the water, we took the opportunity to take care of preventative maintenance so we wouldn't have to worry about it in the years to come. For instance, um, although we only damaged the one um, cutlass bearing, we replaced them all. Uh, we also, since the shafts are out, we put new drip dripless shaft seals in. They, it didn't need it, they weren't broken, it's just that I know that if we did these things, we won't be worrying about our drive shafts and anything like that for the next decade. Uh, we had the bottom painted. It, it was getting close to needing it, but it didn't have to be done. But we decided let's just get that done as well. Um, and, uh, you know, some blisters fixed. And it, well, anyway, we did a lot of preventative maintenance. And instead of calling it, I think we spent all together, geez, I don't know, close to 15000 or no, uh, that's including the repair. Probably around ten, eleven thousand, something of that nature. Uh, I decided to write it off over time. So. Uh, if you noticed in the previous video when I talked about cost of ownership, I said that I was going to be setting aside about $7,000 a year for big repairs when the engines go or something, the boat needs to be painted, things of that nature. Uh, it's kind of like a kitty fund and um, for these big expenses. Now, I, t I took the money out of that because these are things that are going to last. Some of them, the, the cutlass bearings, the dripless seals, they'll last 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I might have to get the bottom painted again another three years for, it depends on, you know, up here you hardly ever have to do it because we're not in salt water. But, yeah. you know, if we spend a lot of time down in the tropics or Florida, you know, then we'll have to get it done. So anyway, I, I, I broke those out over the lifespan of what it was we purchased. And so I have that listed here as $2,300, which is what it would come out if I amateurized certain things over 10 years, certain things over three years. Uh, cleaning, we really do that ourselves, but I did pay a couple of guys to come help wax before we left last year. Uh, I paid those guys $550. Uh, insurance went up a little this year, $3,100 for insurance. Uh, uh, tips, uh, $600. That's just for tipping our local uh, dock hands. Uh, you know, uh, our great, yeah, our, our great local dock hands, uh, Jimmy and Richie uh, here in the in the marina. They're 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 fantastic. Um, and yeah, I had about $400 worth of miscellaneous, just nonsense okay. things you had to buy. So, anyway, the total expenses outside of the trip was $19,801. So that's realistically what it costs us to have this boat if we were to be locals. 
Now, what I did is I combined them all, just to say what we actually spent personally. And this is our total expenses for 2018. And you can read through the list here. Uh, it's basically those two things combined, the trip combined with our regular expenses. Uh, total cost this year to own this boat and to do that trip was just over $45,000. Don't tell our kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, their inheritance <laughs> is just disappearing right now. <laughs> um, so that's what it costs. Now, I also put together a slide to show you as well that has uh, what I thought things were going to cost last year and what they actually cost this year. And you'll see there's a little bit of a, a significant difference here. Uh, I, we spent $45,094 and I was expecting to spend $29,800. <laughs> Biggest Real. difference, yeah, well, but the biggest difference was we decided to take a really big trip. If you look, we spent $13,747 on fuel, and I had budgeted 4000 because I thought we were going to stay local. I thought maybe we'd go up to the vineyard or something like that. I didn't think we were going to go all the way to Florida. And so that's the big difference. You got an extra $10,000 on fuel. Uh, slips, yeah, it came in pretty close to what I had budgeted. Um, repairs were higher, mostly because of my dumb hitting ground and two thousand dollar tow job. Uh, but that was we the spent. Captain experience. Yes. Yeah, Makes yeah. you better, Captain. Yeah, my uh, my educational costs yes, there in the repairs. Yes, yes. You could have went to Harvard, yeah. Captain School, or whatever. <laughs> so we spent eighty six hundred repairs as opposed to the four thousand. Uh, the maintenance and the amortization, that's kind of a given. That's $2,300. Uh, insurance was up a little bit, and uh, some miscellaneous costs were up a little bit. And it's mostly because, like I said, we bought the, the tender and uh, things like that. So our miscellaneous did go a little higher than 2000 But really, if you take the trip out of this, the extra expenses we spent on the trip, it's... Um, I think it actually cost us less, you know, than I actually anticipated if you took the trip out. But all in all, it's forty-five thousand and ninety-four compared to twenty-nine eight, so we overspent about fifteen thousand dollars this year. And uh, well, that's that's it. That's, that's and that the... didn't include drinks. No, no, oh gosh, no. <laughs> we would be doubling this figure, bro. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> I'll do it. One of these days, we'll do a video on our alcohol budget. No, yeah. no, he's <laughs> joking. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yep. Back to work for me tomorrow. And me. Roger out. Roger out.